anything ever in the world. Sure. Yes. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm really looking forward to writing a show in a week. Ah! Uh, it's super fun, uh, we're going to put it up for you today. We have some kick-ass openers coming out to you. So everyone can get super psyched and put your hands together. I didn't, didn't know you were bringing your pet horse. 
Jones. Okay. See you bite? Oh shit! Ooh. I didn't, I wasn't expecting that on the first <laughs> date, you know? It's just... Jones and I, we're very close. Very close? <laughs> do, you, do every bubble date with the horse? We just grew up together, you know? <laughs> <laughs> he was in the barn, I was in my farmhouse. Okay. <laughs> we just grew up together. Girl. Okay, I mean, I had a pet too, but I let him go. Because, you know, I want to grow up on my own, have my own relationship with, with humans. You know? I, I, I didn't do that. What? <laughs> what? I just caught up in the morning. Okay. In my hair. Okay. Looked at myself in the mirror. And then, I got on Jones. You got on Jones? Yeah, on Jones. I mean, what? <laughs> yeah, um, these these tickets were really expensive, so um, I hope I hope you like it. Just sit. We do theater. This is not um, your regular theater experience. Um, we're actually in the Splash Zone. <laughs> <laughs> the Splash Zone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they have a guy here. Anytime you say it, he'll repeat it. Try it. Say it. Say it. Um, theater! No. <laughs> <laughs> say, say, well, oh, he what? only repeats Splash Splash Zone! The Splash Zone! <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! They added an air horn! <laughs> I love air horns. <laughs> oh, you do? Oh, I mean, I don't know if we're getting personal on this first date, but I... <laughs> My dad is the leading manufacturer of air horns in the Midwest. <laughs> Your dad's Rick Mahorn? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, Mahorn horns. Yeah. Number one air horn manufacturer in the Midwest. <laughs> God. Well, I guess we'll have to play this cool then. <laughs> <laughs> so what exactly is the, the, the splash zone consist of? The splash zone! <laughs> Vegas. 
Yeah. The, the tiny one. It was the one with the buffet, right? Yeah. Yeah. I got them on uh got them got them on back order. Okay. I thought we could go there. I mean I'm ready when you are. And I could look you deep in the eyes. Oh. <laughs> I'm loving this. I feel like a connection. <laughs> I'm loving the connection that we're sharing right now. <laughs> I think I could go all the way with you. Yeah. Like, like retirement home all the way. Yeah, retirement home. Yeah. I want to grow old with you. You know, maybe a cat. Get a cat later. I'd love to get a cat. Yeah. Welcome to the splash zone!
the modern day jungle of Chicago. So far. 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 What wonders will we see in this modern day jungle of Chicago? <laughs> And tonight on Dangerous Mammals, we'll be investigating the species Alba virginis basiculi, or the basic white girl. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, there are two basic white girls approaching now. <laughs> See how they size one another up before approaching. Oh, man, Amber! You look so skinny. I wish I were as skinny as you. Stop. I look like Grimace if he had diabetes. You're the skinny one. You see? <laughs> this demonstration of unconvincing flattery and hyperbolic self disparagement can go on for several minutes. Amber, your hair is so beautiful. You look like a mermaid floating underwater. Only you're not underwater. You're on land. My hair looks like someone cut off the end of a broom and stuck it on my head. <laughs> this display can often escalate to aggressive. Watchmanship. Stop it. Your hair looks like the hair from a fairy tale that a witch would curse a family for. <laughs> <laughs> My hair looks like Al Pacino's hair in that Phil Spector movie. <laughs> he was electrocuted by 12 electric eels inside of Iron Man's arc reactor. Oh my god! <laughs> several minutes, let's take a look into some of the other ritual behavior. Stop it! Your hair <laughs> is a soft, buttery, and mellow as Barry White's voice. My hair is like the shrieking <laughs> banshee sounds from the magical egg from Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire <laughs> before he submerges in water to learn the secret of the mer people. <laughs> My hair basically looks like Kate Goslin's hair from 2007, but on a Christian mingle date with Keith Urban's hair circa 2017, and the ensuing love child went to Keith Urban's current hairstylist and said, Give me my mother's haircut from 2007. <laughs>
actually, babe, I want to talk about something. Uh, what's up? I think we should take a break from... What? Uh, oh my god, okay. I, I know I've been working lately, but I want to work on no, us, no, too. No, no. I was going to say, I think we should take a break from watching Netflix. There's the show Harlots on Hulu about women in London who are also strong. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, this is good. Okay. See, they're women and they're strong. <laughs>
cook Indian food and smell it all week. <laughs> ah, oh my god, Alyssa, have you seen my socks? Have you checked the fryer? I looked there, they're not in there. They're my lucky ones. Sorry, oh. this is my, he's super superstitious. This, this is my roommate, Raymond. Hey, is there another room? No, he sleeps in this one. Are you on them sometimes? Check under your bed. bed. This is your, you share a bed? You're on no. my baby jeans. <laughs>
this time traveling metropolitan huckster know about 2016 and living my truth and bleached assholes? To <laughs> <laughs> be quite honest, very little. Though, back in my day, I was working on my own at home proprietary blend of do it yourself but whole bleaching products. <laughs> Want to turn your brown eye into a pink eye? No! <laughs> <laughs> uh, tried to, and I was down to just a fat and So, boo hoo, some celebrities die. Let that be your lesson to you. They're mortal, they're humans, just like you and me. <laughs> and I know we're all upset that Prince died. Today is the one year anniversary of his death, bless his heart. Even I enjoyed his music. My favorite song is Pussy Control. Sure, you can church it up and call it Pea Control, but you're just fooling the youngsters. You're not fooling me. <laughs> Back in my day, our version of Pussy Control was the 19th Amendment. Women's suffrage. <laughs> <laughs> and say, listen here, 2017, you can't hurt us. You can't even touch us. We're better than you. You're just a number. We're people. Huzzah! survives 
on cheesies and Miller Lite. He takes Adderall, though he is not prescribed. He listens to EDN, which sounds like computer dying, and he is DTF. DTF. DF. We captured Cliff. <laughs> we captured Cliff. Flip behind John Barleycorn's using a net in a Tucker Max book. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's funny, but not Amy Schumer funny. I like mean funny, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Wait, what are 
it, it cuts off right here. Where's oh. the last one? Where's the last one? Where's the last one? Where's the last one? Dildo. Dildo. <laughs> Smell a way that it does not smell a speedster. 
<laughs> okay, cool. A, a quick heads up from Clondale Beach. Okay, there was a scuffle on Clondale right, last night over the reef break. You cannot own the waves! Yeah, that's right. <laughs> waves are for everyone, guys. Let's be chill and share, okay? There's plenty of waves for everyone. Do you have a deed to the sky as well? <laughs> <laughs> that's right, so let's keep it chill, Clondies. What up to Duber and Hauser? You my boys, dude, you know what I'm Leave the sand alone! Okay. <laughs> cool, from MTV, I'm Mark. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, this is a word from our CEO, uh, who's also running for city council. Amanda, I just wanted you to know that I am sorry for, you're gonna hit me, but Amanda. <laughs> okay, cool. Are you down with mudslides and bottles? I'm not. Uh, Mayor Cortes, Cortes promises to fill all the potholes and doesn't say anything about the mudslides, but you would do something about those too, okay? <laughs> okay, from MTV2, I'm Marv. I'm Earth, Wind, and Fire. And this has been your Swell Report. <laughs> Thomas, who doubted his resurrection? That's right, bitch. I'm back. <laughs>
a magic eight ball? Uh, Let me see. Yes, I think it's broken. Uh, well, Stephen and I are our kids. Do you really think bringing a kid into this world is going to save your relationship? <laughs> <laughs> hey -o, What you got there? Magic eight ball. I'm going to take a look then. Okay, okay. something's wrong with it. Uh, I'll be the judge of that. Uh, should I have used a condom with Emily last night? It's just a coupon for Walgreens for a plan B. <laughs> up with Samantha, you know, I, I haven't had sex in like three years, dude. I, I, I'm like nervous I'm going to be rusty and she's going to like run away from me. Why don't you read this book? It's a nice uh, cheat sheet on getting back into the saddle, you know? Huh. Clip notes. <laughs> Show again same time next week. We are here to recruit you! Yeah.